Hello everybody out there, this is Utsu Singh from Smart Tech and today I'm going to show you guys what is planar mapping and how you can use it uh, in game development and I'm going to explain it step by step. Alright, so let's get started right away. Now what you have in here is, well, I made a material, alright. Now I added a texture sample and I gave it a default texture. This, this is available in the engine content. Um, if you want to see if you want to make it visible you just have to open up the view options and enable show engine content all right now i just added a texture coordinate node and uh, just search it up texture coordinate now one thing i want you to is know to notice is it has user tiling and v tiling that is basically x and y coordinate as you can see in the colors pretty much visible right here so x axis y axis that is red and green and a mixture of the two colors now now there's only one slight problem in this it is that it when this is not planar mapping yet so don't worry but the problem is that it follows the uv of the object so this is very useful actually in many cases but like let's just see in this sphere here so as you can see here um in most spheres there's a warp at the top because there's only one vertex at the top so the uv's kind of warp around that point like uh, you can pretty much see at the bottom same case here now to avoid this people uh, use uh, a node called world position so now what does this do it maps the texture on the object based on the particular vertices on the uh cell group of vertices or objects on the object basically uh, based on its current position so let's just say you your objects is at position 600 500 so if you look at it that way let's just say this is like your screen right here and like a particular area of this represent six uh, six hundred uh, point numbers and the on the coordinate on the cartesian plane it represents six hundred comma five hundred where six hundred is on the x-axis and y and five hundred is on the y-axis so as now there's an error here as you can see one thing one practice is read these errors they are very easy to understand this as you can see floor 3 uh, you can't convert from floor 3 to floor 2 um, since this is this texture is always a vector 2 value I mean it's a vector 3 RGB but um, it can only be mapped on two coordinates at one point so what you do is you mask it now one thing about this node is all the values that it gives out are based on the are on the centimeter scale and UE4 by default in the world that you will see um, it's not using centimeters so it's useful to convert it into a larger scale by dividing it by a value so you can just create a parameter by holding yes and left click scale and I'll just give it a value of 100 I think and divide it anyway now so this is well this is where the main thing is this is the main part and this is planar mapping and i will explain it to you i think i will add a short render of blender in it as well maybe let's see what comes up and apply now what happens here i will explain it now one thing to remember you can't use a floor 3 value uh, to map a texture so what this mask does component mask as you can see the, the by default it masks um, it gives you only the R and G values that red and green X and Y value of the um, uh, of the vector 3 uh, that is being output here so it takes out the X that is red and green value and outputs it for us to use so now as you can see here first thing I'd like to change the scale back to 200 
defaulted I mean hundred so now as you can see red and green let's open up our view well what the hell happened right now the thing is you are planar mapping so planar mapping is used uh, when you want to map the texture on only one side of the object when you want to present the texture to the person when the user or the gamer or the character is only able to see one side of the object so if i wanted to play the player to see on the top all is good right and one thing since it is using the world position you it blends as well awesome thing and this is many uses like on a rock material you can add in an overlay moss texture so that you can take multiple objects and put them in a modular way so without any overlapping textures or any bad tiling all right so what you want here is now the thing to notice is since i'm masking i'm only giving the x and y values i am planar mapping from the z axis so what is happening here think of it as now as you can see here think of it is this way a uh, cloth is falling from the top and it is hitting the sphere the texture is all right from here because the cloth is falling from this direction right but as it falls down it stretches in the middle in the middle so it pretty much gives you a stretch right here as you can see let me scale it up a bit so it's much more visible the stretch is much more visible in here now as you can see it is completely ignoring the uv so you have a pretty good way a pretty good uh, texture mapping being shown now this changes as you move the object this is this is the main thing as you can see why why is this happening this is happening because of the world position uh, as i just explained all right so now what you want to do is this is planar mapping so what if i want to say map from this direction that is from the x axis so i only need the y and z values right so that it, that will be green and blue so i will uncheck r that is red and tick blue and wait for it to compile for the shaders i'm just lagging a little bit here and there but i hope it will be done soon all right wait for it um i think it's, yes as you can see yeah it's almost it's done now for the this object no wait now as you can see you need to apply the instance very common mistake that i unfortunately still make somehow and you have to save that as well sometimes green and blue so i think that should do it anyway oh of course this also changes stuff hmm. sorry I saved it after adding the scale but I forgot to change the component mask and save it so I think I will just get it now as you can see here this has rendered out now as you can see you can of course I change the scale a bit that's way too much for this showcase now as you can see here this is being mapped from the x-axis so it's coming from in here and stretching on the sides on the top and the bottom but it is visible here one thing to notice is it's absolute well position so there is no negative values all right there are no negative values so absolute basically means like it's negative one it's absolute value will be one so no negative sign anywhere all right so that's planar mapping all it is is you plane a map from one side now but this is the core concept on which triplanar mapping is based on which i will be covering in the next video so if you like this video press the like button and make sure to press that subscribe button as well and ring that bell icon that's important
and thanks for watching hope you have a good day